echoes of a long-lost past like whispers in the wind. Okay, so this is the old village. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Goop says he always does better whenever he leaves failure behind. He's happy his good mood is infectious. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. He understands Wang Fu is hard. That's why your Muma only has six disciples. Doing just one thing helps you get more done in less time. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. And he'll be honored. So wait, so wait, so we have to learn how to swim while in very deep water. <clears throat> you slowly lose key energy and you run out of. So if you run out of energy, you'll drown. Why do you run out of energy so quickly? Jesus Christ! This game really wants you to drown. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? Uh, you almost drowned me. He says a feeling that you're going to drown is a great reminder of the need to learn how to swim. But you need practice. Lots of practice. Or a better teacher, yo. Great things usually happen to those who never stop trying. He hopes you'll be one of them. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. I'm gonna make for the surf. What is the surf? He knows that's not true. You've just made up your mind you're not. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. Uh... The dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wang Fu is in your blood. You should know, practice makes perfect. As long as it doesn't kill you, it'll only make you stronger. She'll see you at the village square. She says that's good. With a passion for learning, you'll never cease to grow. Hmm. So we just go train with her? Why don't we, like, follow her over there? Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. Uh, that sounds kind of sus. Wish I could shake this bad feeling. He's learned that things are never as bad as they seem. You'll feel better in the morning. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He's happy to hear that from someone that's a part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. Okay, so we have to find recyclables for him? Is it? Th it's these things, right, that are all lighted up? Lit up? I think lit up is how you say it. I don't know why I said lighted. Okay, so rubbish piles. Oh yeah, they, are, they do have British accents, huh? Or the narrator, I guess. So there's nobody else that talks. Uh, he, wonders what usefulness you found. he wonders what usefulness you found. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. 
He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. Okay, 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 so this is upcycling. By pieces you can craft your own weapons. Oh! I'll go for this one. Actually, no way. Yeah, no, I'll go for this one. Cool. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He appreciates those able to deliver a sharp remark. He understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. He thinks mastering the six weapon styles of Wang Fu is more than enough for anyone. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. She won't live forever, you know that. But she intends to make the most of every day she gets, especially the ones you share together. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. She worries about you. Sometimes you get lost in your own world, where the only thing that matters is you. Okay. So I'm assuming we're going to get interrupted again by these niggas right here. They look determined. Better watch out. Hello, hey, uh. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. Hello, hey, uh. hey, nee. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. And signore, kitty. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. He says you're right. Nobody can tell him what he can and can't do, and that includes you. Bro, these niggas trying to tussle, bro. What is going on? I freaking four shot him. Come on, dude. Really, bro? How am I godly like this? Damn, I started pressing- I started spamming X too late. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? <laughs> They're insecure, honestly. If confidence is silent and insecurity is loud, she thinks you're absolutely right. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. Um, I'll catch them later. You won't need excuses if you are strong in your conviction. Why does she turn like that? Oh, oh, I can't think of the word formal. Like, like, like she's a wung fu master or something like that. Let me stop. So we're not going to get interrupted again, I don't think. But we might get attacked right now, possibly. And I just realized how tiny, tiny, tiny we are. He is someone close to heart, doing what he does best. In Seeing you always puts a smile on your Popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. He knows growing up is hard, and things will continue to go wrong as you become older and figure out how to make them right. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. He'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future. 
He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. Oh, I can make armor from fabrics? That's the only thing, only other thing I could think of for upcycling. Anyways. He's curious to see what you found. It's our home, your stuff. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bionucleus pool and refresh his DNA. Bro, what? What did he say? What? He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Uh, the things you made are great. I'll get my hands dirty to find out. Sounds kind of nice. <laughs> Says at said. least dirty hands are proof that you tried, and that counts. That you failed this time doesn't mean you can't succeed the next. He says it's about time you learned how, and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna craft clothes. Add on. What if I just put the max rarity things on? Does that really have a large effect? Hmm. I think it's good. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. Kuali. Agrees. At least that way it'll never go out of style. Kuali. You should take it with you. Wear it to practice. Re. He thinks you should. She'll be proud of you. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. So, I think the fact that they made one guy do every voice line in the entire game instead of adding multiple actors for the voice lines is the most hilarious thing that I've experienced in a game before. Because honestly, that man is massive. But because honestly, this man's throat must have been hurting. Pause, but I mean for real. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. Wants you to prove that with some practice first. Your Muma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Thanks you for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Says he's always thought so well of you. Just like her. Wait, so the gift is the is the pet? Oh, it's an automaton. How are they so advanced? If it's post-apocalyptic, that's crazy. So I don't have a net, but they just want me to catch it. Catchy. Your Muma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. She's happy you appreciate what others do for you. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. I don't think that 
physically is possible, but okay. You're lucky to have such a fine helper with you. Your Muma says you look tired. No wonder, it's been a long day. She's so happy you made the most of it. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Nothing could stop Lupa Lupin from setting the world on fire. Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. Okay, so... A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. So that nigga loop, loop a loop in. Oh my god! That's just I almost adding died. fuel to the flames. But that nigga loop a loop in is burning down the whole village. What is he? What is he? What? What is he though? That's my question. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. You look like a lion with the body of of a, of a buff gorilla, but a humanoid gorilla. That's the boss on all twos. I mean, no. Your Muma says this is it. The time has come. There's nowhere to run to this time. The time has come to stand and fight. What? Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. She had a life before you were born, you know. Darker and less fun. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. Just didn't she want me to run? I'm gonna let her die. She, it's a memory anyways. I mean, we know for a fact we're not gonna be able to help her. What is this man doing? Can I even do any damage, bro? Oh, I'm doing hella damage. I might as well help her then, if that's the case. You must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Well, if she Your Numa says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. Oh, unite with her, man. I was, I was thinking though, like, if she's in the water with us right now, why, how did she die? You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Okay, but we're not even the one swimming. It's our, it's our Muma. Why is it telling us to cross the pond if we don't have to do anything? How is he gonna swim faster? That man is heavier. Oh my god, bro, this is not gonna work, bro. This is not gonna end well. How did he get how did he get in front of us though? That's my question. What the fudge is this man doing? Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about.
What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Okay. So, wait, what is this? Wait, where, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? We're at a completely random place. Huh. So, what happened was we got both of our parents Let's killed. See. Like every freaking story ever, bro. Because usually, usually, like in this case, I'm pretty sure our mother could have easily clapped Lupa Lupin by herself. But she dived into the water to save us and got clapped. Because she can't swim for some reason. But yeah, let me go into photo mode real quick. I'm going to end the video here. Because I've been recording for a long time. If, I, if anything, this video might be split into two separate ones. It might be. We will have to see it. Actually, it probably most likely will be. So if the last video did not have an outro then y'all know why now y'all do at the end of the video which kind of sucks but you know it's fine this video i mean this video excuse me this game is hella slow like it's not necessarily a bad thing but the game feels really slow but it also it feels like it's really fast too because a lot of information is being thrown at you it's not necessarily a bad thing though i like the game i really do the graphics are insanely good the gameplay is really fun and the story is good too it's just the it just doesn't feel it's something it just feels off you know what i mean it feels like it's not as fast paced as i would like it to be because the enemies especially when you're fighting enemies they have way too much health like they should add like a bunch more enemies with a lot less health it would just make the game more fun because when you're fighting like three enemies but they have like hella health it's like bruh <laughs> it just doesn't seem as fun you know what i mean compared to 10 enemies with the same amount of health as those, as those three enemies you know you know yes i think that makes sense i feel like it does anyways <laughs> i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys are enjoying the series so far um we're either it's either wednesday or thursday when i'm posting this most likely thursday so we should have about one more video left in the week because i post once every weekday for those of y'all new to the channel so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying it so far i hope you guys are also looking forward to the videos because i don't know i look forward to them but i mean y'all might not because y'all might not like it I don't know why i don't know what i'm talking about i'm gonna end the video here so leave a like comment and subscribe you already know what's going down and i will see y'all in the next one peace